Hey, so Roger Badgerman called. He said he wants his car keys back. It's getting cold. Never, not once in my strong 14 years of life did I ever think we would return back to this era, but oh baby, I miss this era. My friends, uh, best news even. Leaks are back. So I gotta be honest, I had a little bit of a hard time figuring out what to call this video, but regardless, over the course of the next however many minutes it is, we're gonna take a look at not one, not two, not even three, but more leaks that have happened within like the past couple of days. Help your guy out huge time by tapping the like button. Thank you, thank you. Helps out big time. And without further ado, let's go. All right, so our story today, it actually begins, believe it or not, back over at this sign. We're removing the top row of text, replacing it with something more fitting, a new version of Minecraft. Ah, it's a little bit of a throwback. So earlier this summer, in this video right here, I detailed the next new version of Minecraft. I'm sure I'd come into Minecraft. I don't know how to say it. Now, in that version, we went above and beyond and actually tried out that brand new version of Minecraft 2. Except, there's a catch. That version that we tried out of Minecraft? Well, it was that version, definitely for sure. But at the same time, it kind of wasn't that version. Because it was a preview. Alright, so back over to the great guide sign for today. Add a little bit more context to it. New PS5 version. When the newest version of Minecraft exclusively for PS5 was debuted, they said it'd stay in preview. Well, they said it'd stay in preview until it was fully optimized and polished. Now, that was only about two months ago, right? Well, you know, I'm no average Joe Schmo around here. I run my own experiments. We had to jump into the PS5 preview and test it out ourselves. And the big giant thing that I realized as soon as I jumped in the preview and started testing it is, wow, this thing is already, like, super optimized and very polished. And now it seems like less than two months later, we are here. We're at launch day, or, or at least just about. PlayStation Size. This is basically a publication that kind of tracks what's going on in the world of PS5. Not too long ago, only a couple of days ago, in fact, new PS5 ID added to the database. And so this account is actually pretty credible because they confirmed the PS5 version before the PS5 version was even actually properly confirmed. This new ID thing, it seems to be the new version of Minecraft's art. So here we go, we got the tried and true classic, the OG. And then Kaboom, the brand new one that they debuted not too long ago with like the wild update, the caves and cliffs, brand new biomes, new skins, and more. Hey, uh, wait a second, it's even got that brand new dog, so this is up to date as of like a couple of months ago. So of course, in the grand scheme of things, we have no clue specifically what all of this means, but I would wager a bet on the fact that this might signify that Minecraft for PS5 might be releasing soon, or at least relatively. At launch of the Minecraft PS5 edition, whenever that ends up being, PS5 players will still have access to the preview. It's just the main full version of the game, the polished release one. That'll be on PS5 too. For even more on the PS5 version, seriously, go check out this video next. Let's move on. Hmm, ah uh, yes, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. A big shout out to Minecraft Portal for this one. Twitch, ah yes, it tried into place that we used to love. So I want to be fully honest, I'm not like the most up to date with the Minecraft Twitch account and what the bio looked like before. Uh, but we should note that the Minecraft account went live only a couple of weeks ago for the MCC big event on Bedrock Edition. It was all streamed there. But from taking a look at the history of the live streams, it doesn't seem like the Minecraft Twitch account goes live very often. With the last major stream being last year for Minecraft Live. Well, the interesting thing here, and the sign that Mojang is gearing up for Minecraft Live in 1.22 season officially, over here on the About page, this thing has been updated. Welcome. Minecraft Live is a celebration of all things Minecraft. Filmed live and beamed across the world, we get news, creator updates, and a little bit more. I mean, look, uh, Rudy, pull up the calendar. Mm -hmm, yeah, but taking a look at the calendar is something I was actually just tweeting about a couple of days ago, kind of funnily enough. But yeah, from taking a look at the calendar, we are now about like maybe two months away or so from the next Minecraft Live. So sure enough, internally, you already know that Mojang has the 1.22 features like planned out, maybe even partially developed. Uh, definitely even more so the corporate side of it, the whole event planning side of it. They've got the next live show probably almost fully blocked out and figured out. I do wonder about this event though. Like what's going to go down? How's it going to happen? Last year's, I mean, I was thinking back, oh, a little bit of controversy yeah no matter what though what this all basically is is a confirmation that yes yet again minecraft live will be happening later this year not that uh, we needed really a confirmation on that it was kind of an assumed thing but i guess you never know i'm sure there was a year somewhere in there when there wasn't a minecraft live right 
Moving on to the drama, the pain, the hassle. Minecraft, unfortunately, is down, my my dudes. It's it's down. It's over. It's done. They, they canceled it. I don't know how else I can say it, but it's done. In a move that we were waiting for for months on months on months, a brand new update dropped at the last. A beautiful moment, a new witches, new block updates, and even more. It's beautiful. Oh, no. Uh, wait, wait. It's not beautiful? No, it's actually not. So Minecraft 1.21.20, the big follow-up to the 1.21.1 update, the saga with this one goes back a couple of months. You see, my friend, 1.21.20 is not but one update. Instead, it is two. Development of this update began all the way back in May, the 22nd of it specifically, back when the version was assumed to be 1.21.10. Go ahead and uh, fast forward a couple of months, and then eventually later, 1.21.10 would get smashed, collided, and merged. They would combine the update with Minecraft 1.21.20, and then you get like basically a gigantic whopper of an update that was meant to polish and a uh, big emphasis on polish and fix a ton of bugs. All right, back to the down tracker, guys. So I got to be honest with you, level here. This is one of the messiest Minecraft updates that I can remember in literally years because ever since this update dropped on Tuesday, Realms has essentially been down, world creation and tons of other glitches. Yeah, it's been down too. Now, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you want to look at it, I jumped into my game, tried to test it out, find any of the world deleting, corrupting bugs. I don't have a realm, so that was kind of just imagined. But yeah, I had the luxury of not being able to experience any of the bugs here for this video, so yeah. But look, gaslighting, it ain't me and the opposite. I'm not going to gaslight like thousands of bug reports. Clearly, there's a problem. Now, whether this was all caused because Mojang decided to merge two updates into one gigantic one, or it's just related to some kind of strange glitch in the game, maybe related to the poppy or something, I have no clue. I wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> Regardless, though, late on August 14th, early on August 15th, the coolest named update of all time dropped to Minecraft 1.21.21. 21, 21. Now, this big deal of an update did a total of one thing and one thing only, and that is fixed connectivity to realms, except uh, why is there a giant asterisk floating around on the screen, huh? Ah, yes, the Mojang status account. No. We are still hard at work to improve the reliability of realms. Uh, we're seeing the service recover. Thanks for your patience. Ah, yes, so this is after the update released. Uh, they are still having issues with realms being down and everything like that, so I guess if you're having a problem, just hang tight. They're working on it. <laughs> Now, the reason I would bring up this giant sink soup of a Minecraft update in a video all about leaks is because, well, uh, not only was the update broken on, like, the back-end playability, realms capability side of things, but also dead front and center on the menu. All right, so load up the main version of Minecraft right now in the main menu. It looks something like this. It's kind of like a normal menu, you know? But right after the update had dropped, like, on the very day of release, this was the menu. Oh, what in the world? That's a box right there. Oh, that's for the live events. All right, so this one kind of ties into the whole Twitch account one that we were talking about not too long ago. Oh, this is crazy. So again, it was safe to assume that Minecraft Live was on its way and probably coming very soon. But now, we doubled them. After the update dropped, it seemed that a little bit of test code was left inside of the game because a brand new button was on the screen. And this button, it was like live events. So weirdly, strangely enough, I wonder why the image is like a picture of a, of a minecart. Ah, this might be a little bit of a long shot, but pretty recently, in a short, I was actually talking about a big bug fix coming to the minecart. This bug, it has to do with the POV of the minecart. Like, when you drive and you turn, your view doesn't turn. Uh, it's probably nothing, like, in the grand scheme of things, but I just thought it was weird that that whole big giant fix, an issue that's been in the game for years and years and years, impossible to fix, and then we have a, a picture of a minecart in the menu. That's so weird. Now, this button, it was indeed a button. However, if I tap the button, unfortunately, there is nothing here. This is the error texture, the pink and black squares. Yeah, that means something's missing. Even more so, if I go farther and try and tap on the other buttons, well, the game would just crash. I mean, none of it works. Kind of, of course, right? To be expected. There's no way that button would actually launch us into a server. But the fact that it was there is just... I mean, it's interesting to say the least. That button placement is very peculiar because you see, that's where the buttons happen when there's some kind of big event going on. Pretty recently with the MCC beautiful cape event, I mean, I mean, oh my God, look at how good it looks on my back. So yeah, pretty recently with that event, there was that button on the main menu screen literally right exactly there. Last year with Minecraft Alive, there was a button on the main menu exactly precisely in the same location. If I had to take an educated guess, it seems like given what's coming up very soon, Soon here 
This has to be another big test for Minecraft Live this year, and probably the mob boat. Maybe even another new cape. Hopefully. To be clear though, the new cape thing, that's just speculation. No cape has been confirmed as of the recording of this video. It's just, no matter what you want to say though, it's just so weird that that button would pop up on the main menu and I'm getting deja vu. I feel like this happened before. The leak season, oh man, it was so fun back in the cycle of 1.20 or like right before it. Please let it come back. Thank you all so much for watching. Tap that like button. It helps send these videos around YouTube huge time. Subscribe for even more on the end card as a playlist. My patrons, Ground Crazy May, Medical Boomstick, Fire Dragon 19, Steve M, and Nick C. Thank you all so much. And until tomorrow, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.